Excuse me, driver. Stop the car. Now let me ask you a question. Why did your car slow down and eventually come to stop? When we talk about acceleration and deceleration, what do you talk about? For example, let's move a car. I don't know. A uh, car is moving. Uh, I don't know. Uh, four meter per second, and the car slow down uh, to two meter per second. Uh, elapsed time two second. All right. So what we want to find is acceleration. So acceleration is V final minus V initial T final minus T initial, which is V final is 2 meter per second and V initial is 4 meter per second and elapsed time is 2. So negative, negative 2 over 2, so the acceleration is, acceleration is negative 1 meter per second squared. Okay, now when you see acceleration is negative 1 meter per second squared, uh, what that, does that tell you? The car is slowing down or is speeding up? You don't know. So first thing we have to do, we have to convert this to a vector. We have to convert this information to a vector. Let's convert this information to a vector. Let's part, let's part convert the direction. So when you write negative, what does negative tells you in English? Negative tells you in English is west. What does this? This one meter per second tells you in English. It tells you the magnitude. Okay? So this is the vector that represent this information. Now we're gonna draw a vector that represents the motion of the car. So the, we see the velocity of the car, the velocity vector is to the east. Now we're gonna draw the velocity vector. This is of course the acceleration vector. Now we're gonna draw the velocity vector. The velocity vector, we're gonna see, first we're gonna draw the direction. The direction we see is to the east. We're gonna put it. Now we're gonna draw the magnitude. We draw the magnitude. So we're gonna call it the velocity vector. So when velocity vector and acceleration vector are opposite to the each other, then the car conclusion, conclusion is the car is slowing down. Before I do the other problem, I just want to motivate you with four scenarios. Number one scenario, this is acceleration, this is velocity. Uh, number two scenario, this is acceleration and this is velocity. Number three, this is, uh, this is acceleration and this is velocity. Number four, number four, this is acceleration and this is and this is and this is velocity so number one which scenario represent this the scenario that represent this is acceleration is this way and velocity is this way so this scenario so the car is slowing down you already know that and what else the car is slowing down this car is slowing down because acceleration and velocity vector are opposite, are opposite direction. This car is speeding up because acceleration vector and velocity vector are the same direction. This car is also speeding up because acceleration vector and velocity vector are the same direction. Now, as I promise, I'll show you a similar uh, example in which I'll show you that the car slow down even with positive acceleration. So the car can slow down with positive acceleration. People believe that the car don't slow down if the acceleration is positive. But this time the car moves this way. All right, so the car velocity are the same, four meter per second. So four meter per second, the car slow down to two meter per second, okay? All right, now what do I want to, the time is same, elapsed time is 2 seconds. Acceleration is equal to Vf minus Vi, Tf minus Ti. Okay, so now Vf is, Vf is this one, so negative 2. And I'm going to write this by green, by green, okay, so that you're not going to get confused. So Vi is negative 4, negative 4. And Tf, of course, Tf is Tf is 2 and Ti is 0. So what do I have? Negative 2, positive 4 over 2. So 2 over 2. 
So I have one. So one meter per second is squared. Find why this car is slowing down. We know that this is one meter per second is squared. Let's first turn the the direction. So it's positive number. So put the direction. Because positive means is we put the direction to the east. Now let's put the magnitude is one. So I'm gonna put the magnitude. This is one. So now this is one meter per second squared to the east. So this is our acceleration. This is our acceleration. This is our acceleration vector. Now we're gonna draw the velocity vector. Velocity vector, we're gonna find the direction. Find the direction, find the direction. The, both the, the direction is to the east. So direction is to the east. Now we're gonna find the, the magnitude. So this is my this is my velocity vector. So the velocity, this is my velocity vector. So velocity and acceleration, they are opposite direction. When the velocity and acceleration are opposite, uh, opposite to each other, then this car must slow down.